Partner, Jerry Lewis. Mr. Lewis, may I have your... Of address? course, of course. You have a pen, a pen, a pen, a pen, a pen, a pen. Thank you very much. You're very kind. Everything all right, Fritz? <laughs> you have all mine hair. Everything is clear. We can talk freely. <laughs> yes, 
does mine have? You got the paper? Have all mine have. Someone is coming. <laughs> Don't say a boy. <laughs> you realize, of course, this is the day when we must sing the song that the Fuhrer taught us for the Reichstag, the Gestapo, the SS Troopers. Yes, this, this is the place. This is the day we must sing the song everybody sings from their heart for the Fuhrer and the Fatherland. For the Fuhrer! The Fuhrer. The Fuhrer. 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 Are you ready? Ready. Ready. Dix the beer and the six-piece orchestra, pipe and drum. <laughs> Babaloo. do crazy things. What are you doing out here in the first place? I'm oh, just kidding around. What, do you want to start an argument in the beginning of the show already? <laughs> now, come out and have a lot of fun. You want to start with the fjord the bubble? Mm -hmm. What is this kind of talk? I was just kidding around. What do you want to argue with me right away for? After all the things I do for you, you show no gratitude whatsoever. What'd you ever do for me? Give me a for instance. I'll gratitude you. <laughs> you want a for instance, huh? Yeah. Remember last year when you were sick? Yeah. What happened? I got better. I mean, what did the doctor tell you? What did he say? What did the doctor say? He gave me six months to live. Who brought your calendar? <laughs> I did, mine hair. I mean, I did. But it, but it's I should gratitude you. What do you want to fight with me for, Dean? What do you want to argue with me? Why don't you just let me alone? I'll, huh? I'll let you alone. Let me sing my song. What sing your song? That's the trouble. You sing and you stand out here and you sing all your numbers. And I stand in the back. Nobody sees me good. At least let me introduce it. Let me say something. You want to introduce a song? Yes, yeah, so they know you that I... You promise you'll do it nice and legitimately? Yeah, I won't say nothing. No, no jokes? Nothing, dirty. You promise you won't? Huh? What are you... What's for the lip? What's promise? for the lip? You're breaking the whole jaw. Go ahead. I would like to introduce my partner's first song. A song entitled, I'm going to sit right down and write myself a letter. This is a very beautiful... <laughs> this is a very, very beautiful number that Dean does out of the graciousness of his heart. Condemning no one and realizing the fact that remains that whether you may be pugilistic or not, the feeling may still attain the fact that, pro oh, I know many people say, oh, I've been there. <laughs> Usually I would get mad when you did this. I didn't get mad. I'm glad you're out here. You what? I'm happy to see you. After what I did to this first song, I'm happy to see you. <laughs> Believe me. You're happy to see sure, me? Sure, I want you out here with me. You're gonna hit me. <laughs> what do you mean I'm gonna hit you? You're never happy with me. No, I'm glad you're out here. You know why? Why? I want you should help me. <laughs> I want you should help me. Yeah. That's as bad as up the street, the soldiers, they're coming down. <laughs> no, you see, I want to show that uh, we have a little uh, versatility. Versatility? Yes. You've been reading without me again. So I figured that we'd show them how, uh, you know, a man and wife, how they argue. You know what I mean? How they and argue? How they try to get back together again. How they try to get back together yes. again? Uh-huh. All right, you want to do the number with me? Yeah. Will you excuse me? Surely. Bye. Bye. Ladies and gentlemen, right now, we'll give you our impression of uh, a man and a woman trying to reconcile, whatever this means. And uh, I shall play the part of the man, and Jerry shall play the part of the lady. What else? I can't go any place. You got no money? <laughs> I can't show my face. You had your nose fixed. People stop and stare. Are you for real? <laughs> well, it's so hard to bear. I know, Teddy. Teddy? Yeah, it's so hard to bear. Teddy, Teddy Bear. Ha <laughs> <laughs> Everybody knows you love me. Well, you were mean to me. You abused me and continually slapped me. And just how long do you think I could stand it? <laughs> well, it's a tug of the town. It's your mother. She can't keep her mouth shut. Yeah. 
Let's make up, sweetheart. Oh, we can't ever part. You like me? <laughs> we don't stop to speak. Though it's been a week. Six days, don't lie. <laughs> How can love like ours be ended? It's the talk of the town. Well, if your mother would keep her mouth shut, no one has to know our business. I'll never forget the first year you Boy, and I... Boy, we sent out invitations <laughs> to friends and our relations announcing our wedding day. Me and my gray sequin gown with the long train. I said to Edith, I said, did you ever see a thing like this in your whole life? I had gray sequins, and then all my life. And our relations let it give congratulations. No presents. <laughs> How can I face them? Now, what am I going to say? You mean about the baby? <laughs> Let's make up sweetheart. We can't stay apart. It's a physical attraction. All oh, that foolish pride. Keep you from my side. Coax me, send me halibut. Everybody knows you love me. I can't call you mother, I told you it can't give a mark, John. Martin and Lewis aren't the only zanies on this program, but the next ones you'll meet have some very helpful household hints put to music. Every cleanup job is a chore, but these three little friends of mine have shown me a way to speed the work and make it easier. Tell them about it, fellas. Use Ajax, boom, boom. the foaming cleanser. Gets things clean, just like a whiz. You'll stop paying the elbow tax when you start cleaning with Ajax. So use Ajax, boom, boom. the foaming cleanser. Walks the dirt right down the drain. Ajax leaves no gritty cleanser gum in tub or sink. So use Ajax, boom, boom. the foaming cleanser. Walks the dirt right down the drain. So use Ajax. They sold me. Fat so slim and tiny did. And I discovered that Ajax with foaming action really does clean in half, with half the effort and twice the speed. It smells good, too. Foaming action does the real work. Try it. Ajax, the foaming cleanser. <laughs> The Colgate Comedy Hour now invites you backstage of the International Theater to visit the personal dressing rooms of its stars, Dean Martin and Jerry Lewis. Here we have Mr. Martin's dressing room, a charming combination of rich color and fine furniture, truly a backstage home. Mr. Martin's distinctive taste is reflected in the exquisite decor and beautiful appointments of his unusual dressing room. Ah, and there we find Dean Martin, resting on his luxurious chaise lawn. Mr. Martin is getting up now. He's going over to his dressing table. Oh, I see, he's merely checking his makeup. Now he sprays his throat. He sprays his throat. <laughs> now for a drink of water. Uh-oh, there's the telephone. And while Dean is on the telephone, suppose we look in on Jerry Lewis. You know, of course, that Dean and Jerry are great friends, as well as 50-50 partners, share and share alike. So, of course, Jerry's room is right next door to Dean's. Shall we look in? <laughs> and here we are, the dressing room of Jerry Lewis. Jerry's room seems to have been decorated a little differently, but charming nonetheless. 
I see that Jerry has been resting too. He seems to be getting up. <laughs> and like Dean Martin, Mr. Lewis checks his makeup too. <laughs> he's combing his hair. <laughs> and now he sprays his throat. Then, a little water. A little water. A little more water. Hey, Dean. Hey, Dean, what's better? It's better. This is no good. We're supposed to be partners. I don't like this room I'm in. No, and now you got this beautiful place and look at this hole in the wall I'm living in. That's no now, fair. Jerry, no, Jerry. I don't like it at all. Jerry! Why didn't you bring my trunk in? See, that's what I mean. That's not being 50-50 partners. I'm supposed What do you to... mean it's not being 50-50 partners? I carry the act, you carry the luggage. Go get the trunk. Go get the trunk. Go... All right, I'll get the trunk. And when I bring it in here and I get finished giving you the trunk, believe me, oh boy. <laughs> Come in. Come in. Hello, Mr. Martin. Yes. My name is Frisbee. Oh, hello. I'm the NBC man who sees that all of our NBC stars have everything they want. Now, are you satisfied with your dressing room? Oh, very, very nice. Well, that's you. fine. Here at NBC, we feel that nothing is too good for our stars, you know. Well, now, if there's anything more that I can do... Jo well, you I want... would like to have a little extension. Jerry, watch yourself! Watch yourself, Jerry! I'm talking to somebody! Well, 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 watch yourself! Mr. Watch, watch Mr. Fred! Fred. Don't sit on my lounge! Get over here till I'm ready for you. Mr. Frisbee, yes, sir. I'd like to have this phone... Uh, an extension over here, so, you know, I won't have to get yes, up. Yes, sir, I'll you make a report I mean. to maintenance. They'll take care of it right away, sir. All right, thank yes, you sir. very much. Mr. Watch Mr. Frisbee here. Watch him. Let him get out. There you are, very ideal. What are you standing around with the trunk on your back? Put it down. <laughs> Not in my room. In your room. <laughs> Put it in your room. This arrangement whatsoever. What do you mean you don't like this? <laughs> what? I don't like this arrangement whatsoever. You know, between you and this heat, I'm going crazy. It's so hot, and then you got to aggravate me. I'm going to call Mr. Frisbee, and he'll send up a fan. What do you got to call him? Or? What do you got to call him? <laughs> I mean, what don't do you, you end your sentence? No, I said, what do you got to call him? Four. Four. What for? What for? <laughs> Well, I, I want to call him because I need a fan. So I, what do you want to call him up for? See? <laughs> what do you want to call him up for? See? What? See nothing. I got a fan in my room. You want it, I'll get it. Go ahead, give me the fan. It'll cool off the whole room. You don't have to call nobody. I always carry it in my suitcase. Good. This is very splendid of you. Here, see? This is going to cool what? Cool off the whole room. This couldn't cool off a cup of coffee. Well, the man sold to me for 79 cents. He said it's very good. It makes everything cool. Oh, come on. Stop kidding. Well, give the chance a kid. Let me try. What? <laughs> give what? Give the chance a kid. They didn't hear it. This you is the <laughs> You want to plug this in a wall? Yeah, if I plug it in, you'll see it'll make air. Go ahead. Be my guest. <laughs> this is terrific, Dean. I never had one like this before. I think it's going to be nice, this, this fan yeah, it's here. terrific. Yes, Right, I just tried, that's all. 
You better call them up, W. Make sure they're coming over. Hurry up and call them up. Hello, come over for the rehearsal. How do you do? You told me to hurry up. You dial first. Oh, you dial. <laughs> Yeah. I'll tell you, you do it. when a very pretty girl seems less attractive than she'd like. For example, a very charming young lady named Joan was sitting at home one day when she heard... Joan. Joan. Who, who are you? A friend. Your friend. You've been thinking about your complexion, haven't you? Yes. It's so sort of dull. I wish I knew what to do. That's why I'm here. And here's the key to your answer. Why, it's palm olive soap. That's right. And now I'm going to show you the way to a really lovelier complexion. Well, what do I do? Just follow me. Now then. 
Gently massage palm olive's wonderful, soft, mild lather onto your face for about a minute. Mmm, feel your skin waking up? Now rinse and pat dry. And remember, do what you're doing three times a day. Within two weeks, Joan, you too can have a lovelier complexion. Remember that, my dear, for I'll be back to see you. Not just a promise. Scientific test on 1,285 women supervised by 36 leading skin specialists proved conclusively that in just 14 days, the mild cleansing palm olive way brings most women lovelier complexions. Well, Joan, your 14 days are up. Isn't there a difference? Oh, there is, there is. Look at me. The difference in my complexion. How can I ever thank you? Don't thank me, my dear. Thank Palm Olive, your best complexion friend. For well, Palm Olive soap facials brought you, just as they do two out of three women, a lovelier complexion in just 14 days. <laughs> are better than ever. Good boy, Bradford. For that, you get a bigger flashlight. <laughs> this me. Mr. Martin. Yes? Someone's coming toward the theater. Maybe we can sell a ticket. Oh, you have to sell a ticket. I'll go in and tell the rest of the boys, and you know what to do. Youngish father? No, but I have a pet turtle. Do you want it? <laughs> Why, I wouldn't think of taking your pet turtle. Oh, that's all right. You could have it. It's no use to me. You see, it's dead. <gasps> <laughs> well, then. How about going in to see the movie, huh? No, I can't. I gotta get home before my mother. Why? I'm wearing a sneaker. <laughs> Come on. We'll hold hands. Each other? Uh-huh. We'll hold my basketball. <laughs> oh, what do you say? Let's go. No, I can't. I gotta go home and do something. Why? I gotta go home and watch television. Oh! Don't ever say that word, kid. Be careful. What, television? Oh! That's the one. Just don't say it. I shouldn't Mr. say it. Mr. Martin! Uh, Mr. Martin, I have someone here to see you. Well, Sonny, are you ready to buy a ticket? My name is Melvin. Yeah, I figured it would be. So, uh, are you ready to buy a ticket? What's with the ticket? I don't know from no ticket. I was just on my way to watch... Uh -huh. I was on my way. <laughs> you don't want to see a movie? No. Why, movies are better than ever. 
That's what my mother always says. Oh, your mother likes movies. No. Well, why does she say that? I should question my mother. <laughs> the line uh, forms to uh, the right uh, over here. Uh, right uh, over here. Uh, now, now, sell this man a ticket. Sell 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 Hold it. Now, now, Mr. Martin, I'm from the Daily Globe. You're telling us a ticket. Yeah. Give me a story on that. Well, I saw him coming down oh, here, see? Oh, you saw him? What do you mean? You I saw, saw you the man. There. No, I was going down. I'm playing my bed. 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 Sell this man a ticket. Let me just get you all my basketball. Now, you walk right in here, right through those doors, and you see a beautiful, beautiful picture. Melvin, where are you going? He told me in the doors I should go to see the beautiful picture. Without popcorn? <laughs> you going in the theater without popcorn? I, I, I don't like Are it. Are you out of your mind? <laughs> no, I, like, I, I don't like this popcorn. You mean you're going into this theater without popcorn? You're not going to buy popcorn for the theater? The theater is popcorn. Don't get smart. <laughs> I'm not getting smart. I don't need this. You made me buy a ticket against my jurisdiction. I don't want to go to movies in the first place. Now you want me to buy popcorn. I was going home, minding my own business. I was just going home to watch television. What did you say? I was going home, minding my own business. I was going to watch television. You should never have said that word. I should never have said that word. Never. Never. Give me a hit in the head like this, so hot. Such a hot hit in the head because I said television. <laughs> Maybe I should have said TV. <laughs> Video. <laughs> what do I got to stand here and get hit for? I don't want none of this. I bought a ticket to a movie. I'm going to a movie without the popcorn. How do you like that? Without the popcorn. Ha, ha, ha. So there, two boys. <laughs> You think you're going in there without buying some popcorn? No one has ever gone in there without eating popcorn. <coughs> Everybody eats popcorn. Yeah, but I, I don't you like don't You don't want to be different, do you? No, but you I You see that box of crunchy popcorn? I suggest you buy some. Buy some. Immediately. Buy. Immediately. I don't like popcorn. It makes me buy it. Good for you. Good for me to popcorn. <laughs> Come into the theater! Yeah. <laughs> what have I done there? What have I done there? That crazy maniac is in there, and it's empty in the stock. I'm scared. Easy. I don't want to go in there by myself. Easy, easy. I'll go in with you. You're going to the theater with sure me? Sure, and I'll help you eat your popcorn. Yeah, but I'm scared to go there by myself. I'll go with you. Come on in. You can eat all the popcorn. Oh. I don't like it. I went to the movie once by myself, and I got so scared oh. and naked it was dark. And I got scared, oh. and I went home. I told my mother. Let me ever go to the movie to get my money back. Well, 